Okay, this video is on obtaining a Florida commercial saltwater products license, sometimes referred to as an SPL. And we're also going to talk about getting the IRS endorsement that allows you to sell restricted species, and included in that list is the Florida Pompano that we all love and know. So uh, the reason for this 2020 version is, is one of my viewers out there, a YouTuber by the name of Brackish Pro, let me know that, hey, bluefish are a restricted species, and you can't just go out and get the, the SPL without the RS and expect to sell bluefish. So that's a, that's a great tip, and, uh, you know, shout out to Brackish Pro. Thanks for that info, and that's, you know, really the inspiration of this, uh, this 2020 version of this video. The other thing I want to talk about, too, is, is there's a lot of lists out there for uh, regulated species, but there really isn't, you know, a lot of info on what's uh, unregulated and what you can sell, probably because there's thousands of uh, species of fish. But here's what I deal with most of the time. You know, if I had just an SPL, I can sell jacks and grunts and croakers um, whiting, you know, technical name is Gulf Kingfish, uh, Ladyfish, Blue Runner, you would have to find out from your individual fish house what they accept, and that'd be a good idea to do that before you invest in the SPL. Uh, and then on the uh, commonly caught regulated species, um, some are a little surprising to me after I did a little digging. Sheep's head, that's regulated. Uh, bluefish, uh, black drum, uh, Spanish mackerel, and Florida pompano. So anyways, uh, you know, there's, uh, there's a couple little links here that uh, I think will help you. On the MyFWC site, there's this uh, complete list of all the rules for all of the regulated fish. And uh, so that's a good site. And another good one here is this fish rules app which you can get for your smartphones or just do it on the web that's a a pretty cool little site there but uh getting back to you know uh advantages of this you know we can sell some fish out there so uh, with just the common spl and we can uh, we if we can try to catch enough of the unregulated fish to get this rs endorsement and you know other benefits of having just the SPL is your your fish house is going to most likely provide you with free ice and that can save you a lot of money um, you got to make sure you're getting that ice for the purpose of selling them fish uh, you know you wouldn't want to go in there and get free ice and then just use it for your own purposes that wouldn't be that wouldn't be good but uh, you know, also these fish houses, uh, mine uh, sells fish hooks at a deep discount. So if you're making your own rigs, you can save quite a bit on that too. Uh, keep in mind that uh, when you get this, you've got a responsibility to the fish that you catch because you're introducing fish into the food chain. So you better make sure you've got plenty of ice because if... Uh, a Florida Fish and Wildlife uh, game officer comes up to you um, and asks to see how much ice you have. Even if you haven't caught any fish yet, if you get a commercial license, you better have enough ice in that cooler. They can actually ticket you for that. A lot of people don't know that. So anyways, uh, let's talk about this RS more. You know, if you go up to the FWC site, uh, my FWC, and you click on buy and apply and commercial and commercial salt water. You know, you can go in here and you got all your application forms and, you know, they've got information for new applicants. In our case, we're going to be talking about uh, the RS endorsement. Okay, so let's, uh, let's click on this link here. And we're talking about a restricted species for an individual, not a business. So... I already downloaded one of these, um, and here it is here. It's changed, actually, in a year. That's another reason I wanted to redo this video is this form has changed a little bit. But I'm, I'm not going to read the whole thing to you and bore you to death, but there's a few ways to get your RS endorsement. 
so you can sell those pompano. Uh, keep in mind that uh, your pompano is going to bring in the most money. You know, if you sell of, uh, you know, whiting, you know, you might get 90 cents a pound or whatever. When you get that RS, you can start selling pompano. And right now, the average going rate is a little over $6 a pound on the whole. So that'll bring in a, quite a bit of money for your your hobby or business, if it's your business. So, you know, you can uh, you can go out there and get your normal SPL, and you'd have to catch $5,000 worth of salt water of fish in the course of a 12-month a period. You know, if you're doing that, you're going to want to, you know, go out there and catch the heaviest fish you can, probably the jacks, you know, the jack creval. Uh, another way is 25% of annual income has to be attributable to uh, salt water sales uh, to your fish house. So, you know, uh, you may want to call the Fish and Wildlife in that number I showed you. If Let's say you're on Social Security alone. Well, Social Security isn't considered earned income, but I'd want to hear it from the horse's mouth. If they don't consider Social Security, this might be your easiest path if you're over 62. Um, you know, another thing to keep in mind, too, is uh, if you're over 62 with no RS, you only have to show $2,500 in sales, so you wouldn't have to catch as many as someone who is uh, under 62. Uh, and, uh, you know, there's some other rules for charter boats. You know, another way is if you, you know, worked on a, a fishing boat and a, there's a cruise share statement, you could um, you could use that as a acceptable documentation. But anyways, uh this, uh, this document is easy enough to get to, and uh, I wanted to show you some of these sites, too. Uh, obviously, we talked about how to get to myfwc.com, and uh, another link I had for you earlier uh, in the video is that complete uh, fish rule text by species. And you can go here, and, it, you know, it's, it's not a bad site. Uh, you know, you can go in and you can find out... Uh, if you click on bluefish, you know, uh, it's considered a restrictive species. And, uh, you know, you got more information there, too. Another another site that I found that I really like and you can get for that smartphone is this Fish Rules. And, uh, you know, when you go to the actual site, you can choose uh, view regulations on the web if you don't want to put it on your phone or whatever. But, uh Anyways, uh, once you get there, you can do a search. And let's say we do a search on Pompano. Uh, there, there's our Pompano. If we click on that, uh, it shows that uh, for, let's say, the Florida Southeast region, region you know, minimum size is uh, 11 inch to the fork. Okay. So uh, another thing I want to talk about, too, is with a commercial license, you know, if you're a... Uh, if you're just a fisherman in Florida, you can catch six pompano as long as they're 11 inch to the fork and you cannot sell any of them. If you get the SPL, you're still only allowed to catch six pompano as long as they're 11 inch to the fork um, and you still can't sell them. Now, once you obtain your RS endorsement on your SPL, you're going to be able to catch as many as 250 uh, pompano in one day. Anyways, uh, so that's enough about that. And, uh, you know, the uh, the key to remember here is, is with just the SPL, you've got these guys up here. And, you know, that, that'll that'll do it for this video. You know, I, I hope I've helped you understand, you know, how to go about uh, getting the uh, license and how it can help you as a fisherman. I know from my own personal experience that uh, I met a few other commercial fishermen that fish from the beach. And, uh, you know, after meeting them, we, uh, we would uh, share spots once we gained each other's trust and, uh, you know, trade tips and uh, learn how to make gear, etc. So it's it's invaluable uh, being able to go to the fish house and, and meet some of these uh, guys and girls. So anyways, that'll do it for this video. If you liked it, 
you know, please give me a thumbs up on this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. And that'll do it for this video.